in any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself into. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of change. The attendant will look at you with a sinister grin on his face, and then tell you, yes, but first you must do me a favor. Once this is said, do not speak a word. For if you do, you will instantly be transported to a place with creatures unlike any of this world has ever seen, shapes constantly shifting into ever more nightmarish forms. You could pray for a sweet death, for a swift death, but there won't be anyone listening. If you correctly remain silent, however, the attendant will ask you one more time, this time with a hint of urgency in their voice. Ignore their plea and ask again for the holder of change. The attendant will look at you with a disappointment on his face. But soon enough, he or she will lead you to an unused supply closet. Before the attendant leaves, locks, lock eyes with them. If you break eye contact for so much as a blink, you will surely be devoured by the creature that led you here. It knows this and will leave very, very slowly. Once the attendant is gone, step into the closet and close the door, shutting your eyes for exactly five seconds, and reopen the door. You will see a small, windowless room with a young female child standing in the center of it. If there is no child, close your eyes while whispering, Fear does not t shake me. Once you are finished saying this, reopen your eyes. If still no girl stands in the center of the room, there is no hope for your life. The girl you are looking for is the one standing behind you. Once you are sure that the girl is there, close your eyes. Shut the door once again, and this time for 30 seconds exactly. Reopen your eyes and turn the handle once again. This time, the room will look decayed and heavily aged. In the center of a room, in the center of the room, lie a corpse of an elderly lady. In her hand, a revolver with five shells. Quietly whisper these exact words. What were they once? If said incorrectly, the door will slam behind you and the gun will vanish from her hand. You have done wrong and will spend the rest of the eternity locked in this room with a rotting corpse. If said properly, the corpse will speak from beyond death, telling you the most disgusting and horrible ways, a tale from before time all the way to the current second. After she is done, you must grab the pistol from her hand and shoot yourself between your eyes. If all goes correctly, you will wake up in the lawn of the mental institution. Holding in your hands the very shell from the bullet you shot yourself with. If not, well. The empty casing is object 178 of 538. You know what they were once. Dare you attempt to recreate it?